Lynn, a top performing student living with her father, was accepted and earned a scholarship to an elite school. Lynn befriends Grace, a kind-hearted but academically struggling classmate at her new school. She becomes Grace's tutor and supports her studies until one day Lynn helps her cheat on an exam. Grace's grades improve, and as a result, Lynn is approached by Grace's wealthy boyfriend Pat with an offer she finds hard to refuse. Faced with unexpected financial pressure on her father, a modest teacher himself, Lynn agrees to Pat's offer which expands her cheating operation. She devises an ingenious system of hand signals based on piano pieces to communicate answers during exams. Many students became interested in Lynn's business, but as her client base grows, so does the risk of discovery. Bank, another smart student, reported that during their exam, Van Zhang, a classmate, had cheated by copying Lynn, which unintentionally revealed her activities. The school's administration found out that Lynn had answered Van Zhang's paper during the exam. As a result, her scholarship was suspended, and she lost her dreams of being accepted into an overseas university. Just when it seems Lynn has learned her lesson, a new temptation arises. Pat and Grace propose a scheme involving the stick, an international standardized test for university admissions. Okay. Lynn was hesitant at first, but due to the potential payoff, which is in the millions of baht, she eventually agreed. Lynn plans to take the stick abroad where it will be conducted first, but since she knows she can't do it alone, she pushes Bank to take the test alongside her and carry out their plan. Bank, despite his initial reluctance, finds himself drawn into the plot after a mysterious attack by Thiggs causes him to miss a crucial scholarship exam. With his future now in jeopardy, Bank agrees to join forces with Lin in a high-stakes international cheating operation. To provide the exam results to their paying clients, Bank and Lin will travel to Australia ahead of their Asian counterparts. During their break, they will use a phone hidden in the bathroom to send back the answers to Pat and Grace. On the eve of their departure, Pat accidentally reveals that he orchestrated the attack on Bank to force his cooperation. Bank becomes furious and Lynn loses interest in continuing. Bank attacks Pat and storms off, but despite the turmoil, Bank returns, insisting Lynn follow through with their plan. In Australia, Lynn and Bank initially executed their plan flawlessly. However, Bank gets cart for staying in the restroom too long, leaving Lynn to complete the mission alone. Lynn pushes her mental and physical limits to memorize the final section of the test and successfully sends the answers to Pat and Grace. In a suspenseful sequence, Lynn barely avoids being captured by pretending to be ill in order to leave the test facility early. The administrator suspects and chases her, but she is spared when Bank, in a show of support, denies knowing her. Huh? Lynn returns home but is broken by the experience and the weight of her actions. She discovers their scheme was a success. Yet, the victory feels hollow. She rejects her share of the ill-gotten gains and turns her back on her co-conspirators. Bank establishes a laundry business after getting his cut from their mission but is banned from international schools. He approaches Lynn with an even more ambitious plan targeting national university entrance exams. When she refuses, Bank threatens to expose her as the mastermind behind their previous operation, but Lynn still declines. Lynn makes a courageous decision to come clean, confessing everything to her father, and takes responsibility for her actions. We're here to record your confession to the suspected cheating on the STIC test. So, are you ready? Thank you.